spaghetti and tomato sauce is one of those dishes that everyone should know how to make, and I want to show you how to make it completely from scratch. So throw out those ready-made jars of sauce and watch how easy it is to make an amazing restaurant quality tomato sauce with everyday ingredients all in less than 30 minutes. It all starts with great tasting tomatoes. I'd recommend using fresh Roma tomatoes, but most of the year we're left with mostly tasteless tomatoes, so you have two options. Either use the tasteless tomatoes and up the flavor with tomato paste, or better yet, use a can of San Marzano tomatoes imported directly from Italy. If you're using fresh tomatoes, there's an easy trick to peel them. Start by slicing a small X onto the bottom of each tomato, and then put about four to five at a time into a pot of boiling water. And after about two to three minutes, you'll see the skin starting to separate. Now remove the tomatoes and toss them into a large bowl of ice cold water. The shock and temperatures will let you easily peel off the skin by hand. So now that you have your peeled tomatoes, whether they're from a can or fresh, I like to give them a few quick pulses in a blender for a smoother sauce. But if you like your sauce a little chunky, you can skip this step. Now on to the rest of the ingredients. Traditional tomato sauce recipes don't use onion, but I like adding half of a diced onion for some added sweetness. Then smash and mince three to four cloves of garlic. Give the onion a few minutes in a pan with olive oil, and then toss in the garlic. This next step is optional depending on if you're using canned tomatoes or not. Now since I'm not, I need to add some extra tomato flavor, so I'm adding about three tablespoons of tomato paste. And I'll give that a few minutes to cook before adding the blended tomatoes. Add a few pinches of salt and pepper, and once the sauce starts to bubble, turn down the heat to medium-low and let the sauce cook and reduce down for about 20 minutes. At the same time, start boiling water in another pot to cook the pasta. Once the tomato sauce has reduced and is nice and thick, I add some finely chopped parsley. Basil is more traditional, but both work great. Here's a quick tip to finely chop leafy herbs like parsley. Chop off the stems and then bunch up all the herbs and slice through. Then with one hand pushing down on the tip of the knife, use the other hand to rock the knife back and forth across the parsley over and over till it's fine enough. Now toss in the parsley and we're on to the home stretch. Taste the sauce and add more salt and pepper if needed. Hopefully your pot of water is boiling by now and once it is, go ahead and add a large pinch of salt to it and then toss in the pasta and cook till al dente. Spaghetti should take about 12 minutes, but check the box for instructions. Once the pasta is cooked to al dente, you don't even need to drain the pasta into your sink. It's best to remove it directly from the water and place it straight into your tomato sauce, so the starchy water on the surface of the pasta will help the sauce stick to it and even thicken the sauce a bit more. Give the pasta a few good stirs and you're all done. Now plate it up, add some more of that finely chopped parsley or whatever herbs you've been using. And of course you can never go wrong with some freshly grated Parmesan. Enjoy. I hope you like this video. If you're a subscriber of Food Porn Studios, you know it's been a while since my last video has been posted. But don't worry, I'm back in the game and we're gonna have a lot more videos coming soon. So hit that like button. If you're not a subscriber, subscribe now. Hit that bell button to get notifications when the next one is, because it's coming soon. Thanks for watching.